Welcome back, everyone. Here is the latest Aziz News for you with me, Vanessa. Vietnamese Prime Minister met with U.S. Secretary of State to enhance bilateral ties. <laughs> Vietnamese Prime Minister Pan Min Chin and U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken expressed a willingness to upgrade bilateral ties as the U.S. seeks to balance an increasingly assertive China. In his first visit to the key Southeast Asian country as the top U.S. diplomat, Blinken met Prime Minister Pan Min Chin. He said during that the past decade, there has been extraordinary progress in the bilateral relationship. Blinken told reporters, noting that the two nations marked the 10th anniversary of their formal partnership this year, Washington had hoped to be able to take it to an even higher level. The Vietnamese Prime Minister said both sides were looking to further strengthening, further elevating our bilateral ties to a new height. After a phone call last month between President Joe Biden and the head of Vietnam's ruling Communist Party, Nguyen Phu Trong. An explosion occurred during the Prime Minister Kishida's outdoor speech event. An eyewitness captured dramatic footage of the moment of explosion after a suspect threw what appeared to be a smoke bomb during Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's outdoor speech event in Western Japan. Video obtained by Reuters showed security personnel pinning a man on the ground while trying to disperse the crowd surrounding them. Shortly after the sound of a large explosion could be heard as people screamed. <laughs> Public broadcaster NHK said Kishida took over and was evacuated unhurt while police subdued the man at the scene. The incident occurred at the Saikazaki Fishing Harbor in Wakayama Prefecture, some 65 kilometers southwest of Osaka City. Former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the longest serving leader of modern Japan, was assassinated with a homemade gun last July while campaigning for a parliamentary election, shocking the nation and prompting a review of security for politicians who routinely press the flesh with the public. Indonesia's Muslims flocked to the markets, although basic price surge ahead of the Idol Theater celebration. Muslims in Indonesia's capital of Jakarta flocked to the city's markets a week ahead of Eid al-Fitr, but rising prices and a drop in sales had dampened spirits among the public, even as people prepared to celebrate the upcoming festivities. Locals who were seen hitting the shops in a final rush to buy food for the festival said they noticed a slight surge in prices compared to the previous year. Okay. How much I buy depends on how much money my children give. Regardless of the price, I will definitely buy cookies for it. If it's expensive, I'll buy less, either half a kilogram or one kilogram. No matter what, I will buy cookies. March annual inflation rate in Indonesia was 4.97%, cooling to its lowest rate in seven months. Data from the Statistics Bureau showed that consumption patterns have not returned to the pre-pandemic levels. Festival hampers and eat clothes sellers said sales are falling due to a slowing economy. Inflation in the Muslim-majority country typically rises during the Ramadan, which started in late March this year and in the lead-up to the Eid al-Fitr celebrations. Indonesian Muslims will usher the Eid festival, which marks the end of the Holy Fasting month. Canadian and South Korean foreign ministers met in Seoul to boost bilateral ties. Canada's Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie held a meeting with her South Korean counterpart Park Jin in Seoul to boost bilateral ties as the two countries marked the 60th anniversary of establishing diplomatic relations. The two ministers are expected to discuss various issues including the situation on the Korean Peninsula, in the pacific strategy and ways to improve cooperation on economic security and emerging technology, according to the Seoul's Foreign Ministry. Putting the region and Bethany. Uh, we know that the reckless actions of North Korea are uh, putting the region and Bethany, of course, the country here and Canada's security at risk. So working together, we can uh, uh, make sure that we build this cooperative architecture, what President Yoon has uh, mentioned in the past. Um, in our Indo-Pacific strategy, we are committing three frigates to the Indo-Pacific 
so we will continue to work on making sure that our military are here in the region to enforce the UN Security Council sanctions against North Korea. Uh, we know Canada and South Korea plan to launch talks on an information security agreement to facilitate intelligence sharing and promote security ties, a Canadian government source said. The proposed agreement will also allow for greater levels of defense cooperation and enable Canadian firms to bet on some procurement contracts. Japan stressed G7 unity amid Russia and Ukraine war as climate meeting stars. Japan stressed the importance of unity among the group of seven countries in the face of Russia's invasion of Ukraine as ministers from the bloc gathered for a meeting on climate, energy and environment issues. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has had significant negative impact on the global environment and energy issues that we are working on. And the importance of cooperation among the G7, which leads the international community, is heightening again. Japan needs to import much of its energy from oil to liquefied natural gas (NLG), putting a clean energy transition at the core of domestic and foreign policy for this year's year of the G7 developed nations. Energy Poor Japan, the world's third biggest economy, aims to reach carbon neutrality by 2050 using a mix of fuels like hydrogen, wind, and nuclear power. Japan is hosting the meeting on April 15 and 16 in the northern city of Sapporo. Uh, Thai Prime Minister showed up at the one of the world's biggest water fights. Thai Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha showed up and announced as a surprise participant at the Songkran Festival, one of the world's biggest water fights on Bangkok's famous Khao San Road. Dressed in a bright Hawaiian shirt traditionally worn at the Thai New Year Festival, the 69-year-old showed no signs of any damped spirits from a slump in popularity just weeks from an election. Videos on social media showed the former army chief who seized power in coup in 2014, becoming the instant target of throngs of revelers armed with buckets and water guns, wiping water constantly from his face and shooting a water gun at the party goers after taking fire from all angles as he strolled through crowds that cheered and whistled. Prayut has been struggling in an opinion polls ahead of the May 14 general election with several recent national surveys showing his popularity at less than half of the frontrunner for the top job by Tong Tang Shinawatra. Well, thank you very much, everyone, and it Mubarak to those who celebrated the joy of Idol Theater. Have a nice weekend.